nano technology, which stands for transnasal esophagoscopy, it's not entirely new, uh, but uh, it's, it took quite a long time for the ENT uh, team, especially in the UK, to start using this in the normal routine day-to-day -day work. Uh, it has so many advantages that we cannot simply just ignore it. And the main advantages for the transnasal esophagoscopy is that it allows us to examine the whole of the aerodigestive tract in the clinic on the local anesthetic without having to put the patient to sleep. And that reduces the complications that you can have in some patients by putting them to sleep or just simply looking into the larynx and the general anesthetic. So this is one area. Another area that the TNO has become very useful is for treatment of certain conditions like uh, swallowing difficulty, dysphagia. You can do what we call balloon dilatation to stretch uh, the area that is causing the swallowing difficulties. And other areas that I've used it for is uh, biopsy. You can use it for laser treatment as well, like in respiratory papilloma of the larynx. You can pass the uh, instruments through the channel in the TNO to treat these patients. It's time saving and cost saving from our service point of view. It's excellent joined up working. It's much better for the patient to have a more streamlined pathway and being treated correctly sooner with less appointments. I feel we've achieved our goal, which was to increase the enthusiasm for this new piece of equipment. And I know for sure in 20 years time it'll be part integral part of most of ENT or a head and neck department. DP Medical TNO is user friendly. It's a small scope, very comfortable for the patient. Pantax, on the other hand, thicker scope. You get a good elimination. The problem lies if you have a young lady. A lady's noses are a bit narrower compared to a man's noses. You may struggle to insert the thick scope of Pantax or other uh, companies. And there, where the TNO from DP comes into handy. And the other attribute of DP is the endo sheath system, which is pretty good. And you've got, you can basically, using that, you can see 8 to 12, 10 patients every clinic. Whereas if you use the other endoscopes, they have got the channels in it. And nowadays, the infection control is so rigorous about how we clean it which means you need to invest a lot more, lot more money. Whereas with DP Medical, you can have two, or maximum two or three scopes, and you run a proper clinic of eight to 10 patients. Mm -hmm.